Hello, Brands Pickles here. Today we are here with another plugin tutorial. So this plugin is called Staff List and Ranked. So I'll be explaining more about this plugin any second now. But this server is recommended on basically all servers to be honest. It's not just dedicated just like towny, RPG, factions, etc. I think this would actually work on every single type of server. Because it's only related to staff as well as donated ranks and stuff like that. So if we just go to the front camera, so three, two, one, boosh. And we ain't got a lot of commands. It's basically just the one command which is needed because it's mainly config file. But yeah. So here's all the commands. So list hide, so you hide from the staff list. Force us list. So if we just do that now, it will show you all of this. And you're probably thinking, yes, it says I'm my owner here, but I'm not owner here. I'll show you how to do it in the config file because it's all related to person's names. It's not per personalized to ranks. Uh, so that's a thing. And then list reload. And then you can make your ranks in game, which I'll be showing you how to do that in a second. And then remove the ranking game. As well as here's some other commands which you can use instead of list. So forward slash who will show you the same. So forward slash e list will show you the same. Stuff like that. They're just other shorteners or longer, but I like forces list. So if we just go and type in list hide, just to show you. So list hide. It says you are vanished from the list. So if we just type list, and it, it won't show anything. But when I'm coding myself to an owner, I'll show you that command again. So if we just type list hide again, it will say I'm visible on the online section. So if we just create our rank now, so list create, um, what shall we call this? Let's call it Brands Pickled Rank. Why not? And we like it green, don't we? We like the green, lime green. So we're just going to call it Brands Pickled as well. So there we go. So basically it's telling you to add the players in the config file. Uh, the command will be adding soon, which is awesome. So if we just go to the config file, I guess. So yeah, let's go to the config file. Let's go in three, two, one, kapow. Kapow, thank you. Okay, so if we just go to our plugin area, and then it should be called staff online. And then let's edit this config file. And you'll see there's the brand's pickled rank, which I've just coded in. And so here's the owner's rank. So we want to give us the owner rank. So brands pickled. So there's no admin. So we're just going to basically leave it how it is. And then mod again. I like I like the mod being purple. Admin's the correct color. Helper should be a green. And then brands pickled is obviously that rank. So that, that color, sorry. So if we just change this. We're going to keep these ones how they are because I ain't got no one else to prove to and show you how to do it. And I'm going to just quickly change this bit. So, if we just like change this bit here on the staff Let's change this to staff list. Staff list. And remove section. Let's capitalize the S and let's capitalize the L. And I don't really like it being red. So again, I like green. So let's change that to green and let's change this bit to vanish. So we're going to change this to a white. Same with this vis visual. Visible, sorry, visual. Uh, same thing. And I see an on on there. You probably saw something here, because I was just moving something. And then, yeah, that's how I want it. Again, I want to change this bit, because it's exactly the same here. Let's copy this, and copy this bit, and paste that bit here. And then copy this bit, copy this bit, and then let's, oh, let's do this bit there so let me do uh, so which is shown here you can actually change the hide so you can do forward slash list hide and then the player's name 
Uh, and then here, your vanish mode, yep. And then play offline, you cannot make offline players visual, uh, visible, sorry. And then you can change the online players bit at the top. So, so if we don't want to play us, let's put staff instead. So online staff, and that is the footer, that is like that. And that's perfect how it is, and... Yeah, you can check. You can remove this if you want to. So if we say if we didn't want the moderators, okay. So if we just go back to Minecraft now and go to Minecraft. So let's do that in three, two, one. Okay, and now we need to reload the plugin. So list reload. So there it goes. It's reloaded. And now if we do for us list, I should be now showing up as owner and the brand's pickled rank. So if we just do list hide there we go you are vanished on staff list and it should say it's like the same official there we go and if i just do this will it show there we go you have turned vis vanish mode on f basically for myself and then we do it again there we go and if we don't we don't want the mod rank that we said didn't we so if we just do mod you have removed the rank mod so if we do force us list now Moderator is not there anymore, which is awesome. And if we just go back to the config file, it should now be removed from the config file. Which it was between here, which has been removed. Uh, so, last and finally, we're going to have a look at the spigot page. This is the spigot page. Uh, it shows you, again, what I've been showing you with 4 list. list. Uh, if you are running the old version, Again, remove the old uh, the old config file, and here's some stuff. What he's going to be doing, like the to-do list. So he's is going to do the bungee cord. He's going to add online for us hide, basically, and then customize rank system. And like he said, he is going to be adding the command to basically add players to that command. So you don't need to always put it in the config file yourself. So you can it be like for us list rank add brands pickled to this rank or something like that and that's basically it here's the permissions uh, if you want to add it to your staff and then you have the config file which is I've basically shown you across some screenshots and the servers which are running it on uh, so yeah that's basically it about the plugin there's 116 people that downloaded it and it is a quite new plugin if you see here 7th of June which is basically means let me calculate this. I can't do maths at this time. About three weeks old, I'm going to say. Three weeks, one day. Yeah, three weeks and one day. So it's not that old. It is. Yeah, it's quite not that old. It's quite new. But it, it is a really good plugin. Probably recommend you to get this plugin and just because it's better than default. Force us to list what's an essentials. This looks more uh, professional and beautiful. But yeah, the plugin will be in the description. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a like. If you are new around here, please leave a subscribe because it really helps me out. And if you are a plugin designer, please, please comment below of the plugin what I should do a uh, video on. Or go to my Spigot page. The easy way to do it is you go to the forms right here. You go to Spigot Discussions. And I should be round about the top here taken requests and basically it will be here and your videos will be shown here as well so basically if you need a plug in video just just hook me up bruh so yeah I'm out of here